hi there. Uh, welcome back. It's uh, We're just following along in the local church details here. And so, uh, Jason and I, last time uh, we talked about um, uh, fellowship, yep. how important it is. Yep. Uh, we talked about in-person fellowship and how critical it is yeah, yeah. Uh, for the body of Christ to be gathering so that right. they can fellowship together. Mm-hmm. So then that sort of brings up, maybe begs a question. Yeah. Uh, and that question is, what is fellowship? Yeah. What does that look like? What does it mean? What do, how do we do it? And, and why is it so important? Yeah. Maybe is the next <laughs> question. Yeah. No, I, I think people can easily mistake fellowship for just like having the same interests. Okay. You know, and gathering around similar activities. Mm. Like we're Christians yeah. and we like sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like cars. Yeah, yeah. We like gardening. Yeah. So that's fellowship. Yeah, like the Christian Surf Association, mm-hmm. sort of. Like, we're yeah, all yeah. the thing, yeah. and therefore we're fellowshipping because we're all surfing. Yeah, yeah. 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 like you you happen to be doing the same activity that you enjoy. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. And you can have fellowship through that, of course. Yeah. You can have fellowship through lots of things, of yeah. course. But is that the definition of, mm. you know, fellowship in the Bible? Because fellowship is, I mean, with people is the same thing, essentially, that we have with Christ. Mm. You know, we... We share a life with him. There's mm. a common life. I mean, that's literally what the word means, like yeah. a shared life. Yeah. We're participating in him and he in us. Yeah. And so, um, what's the word? Horizontally, it means that we are sharing a life together, mm. that we are not just sort of like passing each other you know, in the hallway and saying hi and yeah. sort of like acquaintances, but that there is a sort of mutual love mm. that's being fleshed out in very practical ways, in the one another's that yeah. we talked about last time. So then at that at that point, so then fellowship, <coughs> sharing of a life together. Yeah. So we're not so when you when when we think about like, for example, <coughs> uh, people getting together and the, and like talking about cars yeah. or football teams yeah, or yeah, those yeah. things. So yeah. that that wouldn't fall under fellowship. I think ultimately no, it wouldn't. Nothing wrong with that. Right, right, right. But to say that that is fellowship, I okay. think would be a mistake. Okay, so then we fellowship with Christ. Mm-hmm. Vertically, right. and then we're fellowshipping together horizontally. Right. Same thing, sharing life together. Exactly. Yeah. Are there specifics that the Bible sort of spells out for us about ways that that would happen? About ways that would happen. Others, but like, yeah, all the different one another's. I mean, we talked briefly about like Hebrews um, three, where you know the, there's a warning passage there, right? And then in verse thirteen, encourage one another. Mm. In verse thirteen of chapter three, so Hebrews three thirteen, encourage one another day after day, as long as it is still called today. So all the time, right. <laughs> it's always today somewhere right. so that none of you will be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. And then he goes on yeah. to, you know, to talk about the same things. But there, right there, encourage one another so that you are not hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. Mm-hmm. So it's not only like the pleasant things, which there's a lot of, you know, yeah. good and, uh, you know, there's a lot of that in fellowship as well. But there's things like this where there's admonition yeah. and there's like sometimes you have to. You know, speak some hard truth. Mm. You know, out of love, of course, yeah. with, with with graciousness and uh, a heart of patience and care for that person. But I mean, that's included as well. You know, mm. when you say you're talking about loving people in fellowship, you're like giving your life to someone, right? Mm. And they're giving their life to you. Um, part of that is some hard things mm. like admonition or at times rebuke or correction. Um, that's just one example. Maybe that's something that people might not think of as fellowship. Fellowship mm. is just like being nice to people, right? Like yeah. you should be nice to people, yeah, yeah. but that does that's not it. Yeah. So just as an example, that might be so. Helpful. So definitely like up, like well above just small talk, yeah. conversation, yeah, even yeah, like yeah. brief little encouragements. Right. I mean, the Bible seems to define it more as like like you said, sharing of spiritual life yeah. together, right? So that the spiritual life is now linked together between the in the body, right. and we're loving one another through that. Right. You're like really pushing and moving, motivating each other. Um, to love Christ more, yeah. you know, and to see his glory, to see, like, that he is worth it, that he mm-hmm. is beautiful. Um, and that happens in season and out, right? You yeah. know, seasons of suffering and struggle, like right now in 2020, lots of mm-hmm. stress, lots of, like, pain and heartache. Um, and fellowship in that context could very well mean, and it does mean, that you're loving each other how? By you are, like, you're getting into their life mm-hmm. to push them not harshly, right. but really push them to seek Christ, to rest yeah. in Christ, not in the government, not in money, not in your job, yeah. not in all the things that before 2020, much easier to take for, mm. to take as like a, like as your rock. Yeah. But you're trying to help totally. people, help each other. Yeah. See like Christ is my rock. Mm. Nothing, everything else is shifting sand. Yeah. You know? And so as, and so then in that sense, as believers, mm. anybody can fellowship. It's right. Like, so there really isn't, isn't like a kind of hierarchy. Jesus <laughs> plus something. It's actually oh, yeah. Jesus as the core of it. Right. So it's not like, yeah, no hierarchy. No, too. no, but what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, like, absolutely. It's not a, it's not a, there's not a, a 
we have Christ and then also we're all like in the same age group. Right, right, we have Christ right. and we're all surfers. We have Christ yeah. and we're all, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Those can be helpful, yeah. like sort of like social lubricants yeah, to yeah, get yeah. to fellowship, <laughs> but those cannot substitute. Yeah. yeah, because Christ is the one or the thing that glues us together. Yeah, yeah. Apart from him, it's not fellowship. Yeah. It's just, you know, conversation and just mm. it's the same as having a relationship with the world, really. Yeah, totally. But exactly what you're saying, he is the center of gravity. Yeah. And that's what holds us together. He's what holds us together. He's why we say the things that we do, sometimes the hard things. Mm. He's why we care. He's why we you know, get into each other's lives and yeah. we, why we let people into our lives yeah. and push us and motivate us and encourage us mm. to seek after him. That's, mm. he's the reason why we do all of it. That's awesome. Yeah. And then that ultimately, that unites us all together in him and, right. and we're growing together in him. In him, yep. And that's a great testimony to the world, right? I yeah, mean, yeah. Or the fact that you and I are sitting here, Yeah. you love the Lakers. <laughs> I still think basketball includes touchdowns, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> we come from very distant di uh, uh, sure. uh, cultural backgrounds. Right, right, right. And right. Yet, I mean, we're sitting here together right. loving Christ and loving one another. Yeah. That's really a testimony of the gospel far it is. more than anything else. Yeah, you really can't. The world wants that more yeah. than anything. You know, everybody wants mm -hmm. to be in somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody wants mm -hmm. a, a community or, like, you know, they call it like a third space mm -hmm. outside of your work and your home. Yeah everybody's dying for it and yeah. they cannot figure it out mm. but jesus already did yeah, it's, <laughs> it's already called done. the church yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you get in through uh you know accepting his um his death on the cross for your sins but mm. it, it's such a precious thing and that's why the bible talks so much about unity and yeah. preserving it protecting it promoting it because it's it's such a beautiful thing but it's also very fragile yeah. right like one little thing can yeah. just you know tweak it but by god's grace i think like the church has can have and does have a good testimony mm -hmm. as we continue to like fellowship build each other up despite external differences totally. despite not having the same even likes or preferences mm -hmm. you know like you can have vegetarians and carnivores yeah. <laughs> fellowship <laughs> around the cross you I mean, might love the carnivores more <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm yeah. just teasing if you're a vegetarian i'm just joking yeah like ephesians 2 right it brings yeah. jews and gentiles together totally. and that's yeah. Like, that's what the only what the gospel can yeah. do. That's the profundity so, of the gospel. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, Christ, right? John 13, 35. By this all men will know that you're absolutely. my disciples, that you have love for one another. So, good. Well, yeah. praise the Lord. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Hope that's helpful.